Hi, this is Jay from Sparkle. We've had a few questions about converting JPEGs and PNGs into SVG files. I'm going to show you a way that you can do that using a program called Inkscape. So what I've done is I've imported and embedded a JPEG image into Inkscape. Inkscape is a free tool which you can get from inkscape.org. Very powerful, I do recommend it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a number of layers and then we're going to draw the image in a particular order. So you can use the layer option at the top here, or if you prefer shortcuts are Control Shift and N, and then you can create a number of layers. I'm going to use four layers, and I do apologize, it, it might look a bit rough, but I'm gonna try and do it as quick as I can, just so you can watch this video and enjoy it. Okay, so now we've got our four layers here. We start with layer one, and then we use a pencil tool. Now I'm using a freehand pencil, but you can use any um, of these tools over on the side here, the freehand tool, the Bezier curve, or the calligraphic tool. But for haste, I will use the pencil. All right, so what I do is I basically scribble and try and cover as much of the area I want drawn first. Okay, and then I use a fill in stroke option and I make the stroke thicker. Okay, so I then make some fine adjustments here. And again, the more time you spend on it, the better the effect. I am going to rush through this as quick as I can. All right, now on to layer number two. So I want to cover the mountains now. So that's what I'm going to do here. And again, Make the path a lot thicker. And again, fine tune it. Okie dokie. All right, now on to the next layer. I'm going to Get this area here. And again, you can use very broad strokes, but the more time you spend on it, the better it will be. done and then we'll move on to the final layer which is the sky and same as before well, let me just cover this area first just a little bit there we go Alrighty, so thicken it up again. And again, just some fine tuning, just to cover the areas. And like I said, there might be a couple of gaps in this particular image, so I do apologize for that. Okay, 
So once you're happy with the areas and they're all covered, what you can then do is change the opacity down to zero. Okay, so you select each individual area and you basically make it transparent. Okay, so once all your paths are clear and you can't see any of them, what you can then do is save the file. And then you can bring it into VideoScribe. Okay, let's go for the, the one I did earlier. And let's see how it draws. Okay, so that's how you can convert a JPEG or PNG into an SVG and get the draw order that you like. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and let us know what you'd like to learn next.